Thousands of Australians ran to the top of high mountains because of floods inundating the city today, Australian authorities on Sunday urged thousands of people in the northern state of Queensland to move to higher ground as heavy flooding from torrential rains continued in the coming days, the Queensland government said major flooding was occurring in some suburbs of Cairns, a tourism hub of about 170,000 people about 1,700 kilometres north of the capital Brisbane. Properties in these areas may continue to flood as high tides and rainfall continue to increase. Residents are advised to move to higher ground now, said Queensland Fire and Emergency Services. Know on its website about one of many emergency warnings for northern Queensland areas, the flooding followed heavy rains from former tropical storm Jasper, which hit the region this week, leaving tens of thousands without power and forcing evacuations. Australia's weather forecaster predicted dangerous and life-threatening flash flooding in Cairns, the gateway to the Great Barrier Reef, and said water levels later on Sunday could exceed record flood peaks in 1971 it was 4.1 metres, 13.45 feet, dot, the Cairns local disaster management group said homes, buildings, roads and bridges were flooded, electricity, water, sewer and telephone services in the area may be lost, the agency said in a statement. The forecaster said there was also flooding about 120 kilometres north of Cairns in the tourist town of Daintree Village, which has seen about 350 millimetres of rain since 9 a.m. on Saturday, 2300 hours Greenwich Mean Time on Friday. Forecaster spokesman Dean Naramore told Australian Broadcasting Corp that the weather system was no longer too severe. But it could move west overnight, which will reduce rain in Cairns and surrounding areas. But the flooded water level in the city is still very high, causing many areas to be paralysed. Floods have been frequent in eastern Australia in recent years, including, once in a century events, floods flooded the neighbouring Northern Territory in January due to the multi-year La Nina weather phenomenon. Australia is currently experiencing the El Nino weather phenomenon, often associated with extreme events such as bushfires, cyclones, droughts and heat waves like the one that burned parts of the country on Saturday.